Tommy, welcome to Aldershot. I mean, how does it feel to, to be unveiled as the new manager of Aldershot Town? Well, it's all happened very, very quickly, obviously. So um, I haven't thought too much about what it's like to feel as the, as the Aldershot manager yet, but I'm delighted to be here. The facility is excellent where, we, where we're training yeah. um, and we're halfway through the session as we speak. So from that point of view, it's been all a bit of a whirlwind, but um, I'm looking forward to getting, getting started, you know, full teeth in and going forward. As you say, obviously it has been quick. This is, and you know, the session is going on, as you say. But um, you know, what are your first impressions of the squad on that? Well, obviously, I, I, I know about the squad from a distance because I'm a football person. So a lot of the players I've come across um, in various roles I've had before, even my last job as a manager. So from that point of view, um, they're not strangers to me. Although I don't know a lot of them in terms of individuals, I'm sure I'll get to know each and every one of them very quickly. There's not a lot, a lot of time left in the in the current campaign uh, and I've obviously got to see and assess what I believe and give my two pence worth um, to the football club about how we go forward but ultimately the, the job in hand is as everybody knows we have to have a common a collective objective to, to make sure this football club stays in this division and just you know given a quick brief outline to the fans what kind of you know football playing style whatever you want to call it what can they expect on the pitch um, I think various to be honest with you at the end of the day what I will say is we, we will be concentrating on ourselves. You know, we, we are all the short term football club and we will eventually have a, a kind of football that will be reflective of me as a person, me as a coach, me as a manager. But that's not today and tomorrow, but the influence I can have will be different to the previous guys. So th there'll be a change. Certainly, I, I, I look and just briefly at the, the, hit, the, re the very recent history. The, the home form hasn't been good enough and um, that's something that is really important in any in any division for any football club. You need to have, you know, strength in, in your home your home fixtures. So starting on Friday, we'd like to think that the, the town will get behind us and and, and make sure that the, the players are comfortable in front of their own and um, their own fans first and foremost, and I'm sure that'll uh, that'll get another 10, 20 percent out of them. Well exactly. We've we've got that opportunity on Friday with Yovo, haven't we? You know, I'm sure the East Bank will give you a nice big welcome, but it'll be brilliant to see them really getting behind us on Friday, won't it? Yeah, absolutely. Listen, like I said, everybody inside the building and everybody who supports the club will want the same thing to happen and they'll they'll want they want change and they'll want they want things to improve. And whether that's, you know, step by step or season by season, they want improvement and it, again, if you go back further, historically, the football club has, has been at much better levels of the game. So, you know, I understand frustrations, but ultimately, uh, what I do know is there'll be no less effort and application from the players on the pitch. I think they're given what they've got. And and, and we we are at home. We'll try and impart our game on, on the opposition, whoever that is. This weekend, it's Yeovil. They're in a similar position to what we are. So it'll be viewed from outside the building as a massive game. But I always say there's no six points for, for grabs. There's only three. Um, and it is the most important game because it's the next one, but it's the only game that we're concentrating on at the moment. Well, that's it, isn't it? Football is all about the short term, but you know, you mentioned there about the long term. Is that something you've already got your eyes on next season, planning for that? Yeah, I mean, you know, people, if anybody who knows me will, will realise I've got a background both in the management side of things and recruitment. Mm -hmm. So I'm well aware of what's available or what, or what could be available for a club like Aldershot, given its geography and its position in the, in the pyramid. So from that point of view, that's something for future discussions with yourself probably, but at the moment it's all about the next game. And, you know, we'll be prepping between now and Friday for Yeovil and nothing else. I, I, I've met all the staff, if briefly, this morning and I've, I've had a little chat with the players. Uh, and I'm sure that just in them two short conversations that we've had there, it's very, very clear and crystal as to, to what my, my feelings are and my, object, my objectives are uh, from now to the end of the season. As you briefly mentioned there, you know, you have got a lot of experience, haven't you? You've, you've had a lot of various roles off the pitch and you've, you've, you know, a handful of, well, not a handful, a lot more than a handful of Premier League appearances with Southampton, you know, lots of Division 1 appearances as well. So is, is that something you, you're, you're really looking to put into this? Well, one of the things I said to the, to the players was uh, there's probably nothing in life or in football that they've experienced that I haven't. So, you know, I played man and boy. I've coached, I've managed, I've been a director of a football club, I've, di I've been, you know, I've headed recruitment departments. So, but that's all ifs and buts and maybes, and, you know, eventually some of them lads might be in the same shoes as I, but we're all, we all want the same thing to happen. I think I can, I can help them as individuals, I can certainly organise them collectively to be of a winning mentality, ultimately when they cross the white line, you know, it becomes their, their ownership.
Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.